Hi guys, having a bit of a walk around at Westbury on Trim, uh, which isn't particularly relevant, just happens to be where I am. And I've come to this grassy area that's next to a church actually, and there's loads of mushrooms on the floor, or fungi. So I'm going to pick a few of them and see if we can do a spore print with them. This is what I'm looking at. There's plenty of them here. So I just thought I'd pick a couple of the big ones and put them in my shopping bag for now because you don't want to put them in a plastic bag, I understand. These don't look quite so good. So there we go, that's three fairly big ones, that should do, I should take them home and we'll do some spore prints with them. I'm not thinking about eating them or anything like that, I just don't trust mushrooms or fungi, but I will try doing a spore print. That's a bit too faded, isn't it? You can't really see that. Somebody's left their McDonald's meal under the seat there. Well, I say McDonald's. Generic takeaway meal. size of my foot. These are the mushrooms I picked up in that grassy area by the car park. So I'll pull the stalks out the middle and I'll put them on here. This is where I do my time lapse photographs, but I've already established there's no point in trying to time lapse the mushrooms because you can't see what's happening underneath. But that's where I'm going to put them. So I'll just lock the camera off a minute. funny-looking things. I will go and wash my hands. I don't know whether to cut them or try and break them off. I think I'm going to have to cut them because that doesn't want to break off easily. I'll go and get a knife. That's the three of them with the stalk cut off. They've been eaten a little bit. I think they'll still do the job. Bit of 
grass, a bit of leaf. I don't suppose that matters really because it's the other side we're interested in. I think what would happen is because I've cut the stalk off, that's going to tend to stick to the paper a bit. Still, we'll find out. More grass. Yeah, well I'll leave them for a couple of days I expect and see what happens. Just a quick update on these three fungi and their spore prints. This is 12 hours I should think after I set them up and they certainly are blasting the spores out. I don't know if we'll get any uh, sharp definition from them because they're just sort of blowing out quite widely. I say blowing out, there's no wind in this area. This is tucked away in the corner of the bedroom. So that's just been spreading out on its own. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there.